What's going on, everybody? Uh, first, I just want to say thank you very much to the Five Awesome Optimist channel for inviting me to um, do a guest vlog on this channel. Uh, secondly, I would like to congratulate this channel uh, for being featured on past, or I'm sorry, on the What the Buck uh, show uh, for Buck Factor. Um, this this channel is uh, a great contribution to the YouTube community. And it's taken me a little while to figure out what I wanted to talk about. For those of you that don't know, um, my name's Lisa. I am from the Fat Wagger channel. Um, and I, I do um, a, a variety of different things on my channel. I do like to talk and yell and rant. And um, I also like to do comedy and stuff like that. But as I was thinking about what I could do for this channel um, just to make a contribution to the whole purpose of the Five Awesome Optimists, I thought about days of old. Um, you know, days of old where people were of a kinder, gentler nature, um, where we didn't really have the internet, and well, we didn't have the internet, and when you walked down the street, um, people spoke to you and said hello, um, gentlemen tipped their hats to women, and uh, I don't necessarily think that we need to, you know, do that, that we need to be like that, but um, I think in order to, to find some solace in an otherwise um, really screwed up world that we live in, we need to try and find a way to control the things within our reach, the things that we can control. Um, we can control how our daily events go. We can control how our daily, uh, how our daily interactions with people um, make a difference either to them or to ourselves. You know, when you're walking down the street, you don't have to turn your head and act like you don't know that person. Um, even, you know, if you don't know that person, say hello, smile. You never know when that smile that you give that person could totally change their day, their life. I mean, I've had days, which I'm sure most of you have had, you've had a terrible day. It's been just an awful day. And some, someone's come along, some, a stranger, and said, hello, how are you? And, and, and something inside you changes. It's, you know, we are all connected somehow, some way. Whether you want to look at the big picture of it or write what's in front of you. What I try to do is make sure that it's not just my little ball, my little box, my little world that matters. I, I try to see that there's that I am connected to other people and I can have an influence on how someone else lives their day. I can I can affect someone's mood for the day. So I try to do at least one kind act every day. I don't mean, you know, I'm not talking going off and dropping a hundred bucks in a, a charity bin or, or you know, something of, of such great magnitude. I'm talking about something very simple as just if you bump into someone at the grocery store, you know, instead of turning around and giving them the Maloika look like, you know, I'm sorry, you know, it's amazing the difference you can have on people when you just step back from a situation and deal with it with some kindness in your heart. And when you look at YouTube and you look at the comments sometimes that get left on different channels, and I've had my share of comments left, um, you realize that, that there are people out there who are just here to cause hatred, cause trouble, and, and just be mean. So why do we want to, you know, continue that? Why do we want to fit into that mold? Be your own mold. Make your own mold. Find your own niche, find your own level of courtesy and kindness. And I can guarantee you, in that level of courtesy and kindness, a simple hello, a simple smile, a simple have a nice day will go a long way. It'll even make you feel better. So much so that if you even go so far as when someone says, how are you, really listening to how they are and and it can make an impact so many times we just say hey how you doing and we keep on walking 
Well, we just ask someone a question. Hey, how are you? Listen to them. Listen to their answer and respond to them. I know it seems very, eh, whatever. I don't have time for that. You do have time for that. You have just as, not, as much time to be nice as you do to be mean and callous. And You know, when someone cuts you off on the freeway and you speed up next to them to give them that, that freeway look, that, what do you do? Take a deep breath. Back away from the situation and, and move on. First of all, it'll keep you less stressed. Think back to those days of old, 50s, the 40s. People were kinder and gentler. And if we can find a way back to that, I think we might find a way to deal with all of the chaos in the world. That's all I have to say. Uh, I hope it, it helped with, with some, someone out there somewhere. I'll tell someone, all of you, to have a nice day. And again, thanks to uh, the Five Awesome Optimists. Great channel, and I appreciate it. Peace.